All right, so we're going to install all Melenix 10 today. So we're booting up, uh, booting up off of our USB installer. Here we are. We can select our keyboard layout and stuff like that, language and so on. So we're just going to go with English and default US. Now, <clears throat> here we have a bunch of different options, different things you can configure. You don't have to configure everything here, but certain things are required. So let's start out. We are going to select our target disk, select the disk we want to install to. And, you know, be careful what you choose, because if you accidentally choose your install USB, it will try to overwrite that. So when we see uh, <clears throat> we're trying to write to this disk here, we need to reclaim some space because we had a previous OS installed here. So we're going to go ahead and do that, reclaim some space, and we're just going to take everything, basically. We're just going to wipe it all out because we, we don't care about the previous install. We're going to do a fresh install, new OS. Um, if you did have data on that drive, it is going to get wiped out. So just be careful for that. So over here we're going to go ahead and enable the root account you don't have to do it this way this is just what we are going to do in this installation so we're going to go ahead and put in our passwords so there we go going to continue ahead I'm going to create a user and we're going to make it an admin user just so you can sudo by default and do everything you would need to do. So basically just fill in our username, fill in our password, stuff like that. We're not configuring anything like auto login or anything like that. Um, so you're going to need your password and everything to do to uh, log in pretty much like normal, just standard uh, sensible options here. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Here we can select it. We have a bunch of different software options to choose. We have different basic, basically profiles on the left here. Um, you, you can choose different preset uh, selections of software. And on the right, you can choose specific uh, packages or, or bundles of packages that you might want to use. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. We're just going to go with a server with a GUI, even though normally you wouldn't do that, but you can. We're just going with it because it's, it's good for demo purposes. Here we're installing it. Now I sped this up to from I think like four minutes down to, actually I think it was 12 minutes, I sped it up to like 12 seconds, so, something like that. I sped it up by a lot and here we're rebooting. I sped this up by a whole lot too. And here we are at our freshly installed system, I'm going to log in. And basically we just have a pretty generic GNOME desktop here. So I'm gonna load in just a second. There we go. Gen and we're gonna skip this demo cause it's nothing super exciting. And after you've seen one, you've seen them all. But yeah, here you go. Um, basically, basically a standard generic GNOME desktop that has all Linux wallpaper. And that's one of the biggest things that sets this apart from Rock. I mean, there are other things, but this is one of the first noticeable things that sets it apart from uh, CentOS or Rocky Linux. It should be pretty close to identical to Rocky Linux or RHEL. CentOS is going to have slightly newer packages, but it's really not that different. It, it, it It's pretty similar. Anyways, we have a separate video on that, but uh, that's about it. This, this is uh, this is what I wanted to show you for today. So remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on that next video.